What is up guys, I'm back to another vlog here at No Vlogs. Today we're gonna get into it. We're gonna show you how to install roll roofing. So first thing is first tools that you'll need. I'd say you need a knife, utility knife to cut the roofing, towels, extra blades, that's what these are. They're a hundred count. They're that thick. They're just the ace brand because I don't need anything special. Crowbar, hammer. Uh, tape measure. I'd get some mineral spirits, paint thinner, mineral spirits, anything will work. If you're going to be up in the sun, get some sunscreen. Good protection. Now there's two options. Roll roofing adhesive, that which uses a brush on a pole. That's what I'm going to be using because it's easier. Um, also there's ones that you use the pads and push now the other option is how to install it what you're going to need is you can either use regular roofing nails like this or you can go to your local hardware store probably any hardware store would have this available for rental i went out and rented a nail gun to get that done i got some nails right here Air compressor I rented with it and some air hose. I suggest some gloves. Um, I got music playing in my ears right now. That's what this is. Earbuds, speaker, music occupied yourself to keep yourself busy if you're by yourself. Um, I got a screw gun just in case you need it. Um, I got a Craftsman tool kit here. That's all you really will need. You'll need a measuring tape to measure to get a cut, a straight cut. On this is what I'm going to be using for the cutting board. Um, so for the ridge cap, that's another thing. You can go out there and buy ready-made ridge cap pieces, but I can show you guys how I take regular shingles and turn these into ridge caps. Um, not that hard. It just time consuming but i'm gonna show you how to do that right now i'm gonna climb the ladder and i'll pick up the camera when i get up there and i'll show you all right what we're working so with. up on the roof here this looks fine but whoever did it last we hired someone this side me and my dad did probably three years ago about and it's still it's not really peeling or anything but we're gonna just do the whole entire roof and roll roofing over here it looks pretty good itself. It's different, as you can tell, um, because that side we did, side they did, and do such a good job. Um, what they did here was how I made my ridge caps. They just put caulk over the nails. They didn't redo it. They just pulled them up on one side and you laid them. It's fine. I'm gonna fix that though today. Here we don't have much to go down here. This actually should get done in one day. It shouldn't be that hard. This tree over here, I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue, but I have to shove it underneath. Um, over here is where I stopped last. Underneath the tarp is where it's been leaking. I started, um, what was it? Probably last year we started on it and we left it through winter. This is all done up here. I just need to work my way now from try to get this tarp up. Gotta work that way from probably where that room addition adds on to this tarp right here. All the way over. I gotta get that done. Um, I'm sweating. I don't think it's supposed to rain today. Um, I'll get this tarp up, show what I'm working with, and we'll get to work on it because it's gonna take a little bit. But I have to measure to get a um, rethought of how much what size we used here I know there's either two or three sizes because you have the stagger them so here's the new ridge cap that I put down it looks actually pretty good um, everything on here should be pretty much done I just need to work my way this way now and finish this so enough talking I'll be back when I got this tarp off alright guys we're going to grab up to the roof here we got a tape measure. We're gonna get up here and we're gonna take a look at it. Um, 
so I got all the bricks off of it in the tarp I got to measure two maybe three of them I want to see how big each one of these are um, this one here and we're gonna see how many feet this one is here try not to let it drop so 15 15 and oh gosh here we go the wind is not helping today I'll tell you guys that much come on don't break <laughs> it's the fun part 15 and what is this one 18 18 so 15 18 and maybe a 15 and 18 15 and 18 all right so we stagger them 15 and 18 um let's see See, that'll be too much so we have to cut a bottom one um that one was a 15 that one's uh yeah so now you gotta figure this shit out um the thing why you don't want to do a project and stop for a little bit how many feet Oh yeah, we did overhang them a little bit. Six feet. It's a six foot gap. Six feet added on over here. Gotta keep pushing along with it. Four and a half. Hmm. That's an eighteen. If we move that over, that was five feet. So, yeah, this is an R eighteen. We got two eighteens. We got our fifteen. We do all the bottoms 18s and the second ones were gonna be 18s. So now I gotta figure this out what we did for the from there to there. That's probably yeah, that's probably an 18. That's one eighteen. And that's probably an R18. We got probably a 15, 15 and 15. What is this? Our 18. All right, just a little bit of figuring out. This video is probably gonna be decently long because I don't think I'll do much time lapse. Um, I just gotta go over everything and keep checking. Yeah, that's in our 18. All right. That would be. All right, so we were doing 12, 18, and 12, 18, and 15. So we'll write that down on my notes here. I got a new phone, so. Uh, 18, 15, 15, and 12. And that are the size that we were doing. Um, and we're staggering them. So how much is the leftover on the bottom here? 
we're just gonna do a lot of measuring measure twice um well, let's do a 15 here on the bottom do a 15 then we can do an 18 and then we'll work up on the ridge cap all right so 15 and an 18. Let's go cut a 15 and an 18, and I'll catch you guys back on the ground. Right. Yeah, so I just put a new blade in the utility knife here. We're gonna cut this. I just got it laid out. Roll it upside down, preferably. Um, if you roll it upside down, it'll actually help you out because you're not fighting against the grain um, of the roofing. Now what you wanna do is take this. This should be pretty much level take it with 15 and it doesn't have to be exact because we're gonna under layer it underneath something else but looks pretty good like that you take your utility blade I'll, sh I'll show you right now if you have a brand new blade The new blade it should go directly through no problem yeah my last blade I had on here um, it was pretty difficult but that was because I had to go through it like two times and that's all because I have a new blade on there now I'm gonna be careful not to break this I'm gonna unroll it back this way probably if you have enough yard room then you want to roll it back up. You can cut it up on the roof too, but I suggest doing it on the ground. It's a lot easier. Um, just roll it up and bring it onto the roof. This is not the fun part, I can tell you that. Oh yeah, and guys, just so you know, I did get um, announced by the doctor I might have asthma so I get to got med medical issues to not be doing this but you know I still do it for my family so put it over your shoulder you carry it up I already put the tar up here just don't break it just let it be itself roll off to the side I have to get a brush and the nail gun I already got the air compressor up there And pants. If you don't want your pants to get ruined, put on some crappier pants. I just did that now. Trust me, you'll need the um, the razor blade and the tape measure a lot. All right, brush. track nail size this is one short one these are both short ones I'm gonna just take these two up I'll bring the broom up last but just gotta carry all this stuff up once you get everything up there it's actually pretty easy Because you got everything up there, you just need to climb up and down with the roofing. Yeah, make sure you got some hands on the ladder. Not me. Nail gun, tape measure, nails. Be careful not to stick them on your roof. If you have a roof that you don't want to get damaged, don't stick them nail down. Stick them head up. So that. Then our roof, we're going to take the brush, the nail gun. Just gonna start carrying everything over here where we're working and so here's where we're gonna be working on the bottom now this is not a broom don't use it as a broom 
Um, I don't think it'll roll off near to the nail gun. Um, I don't want to hook it up yet. We'll hook that when I get back. Yeah, we have a lot of bricks now. But, what you do now is grab your tar, everything else that you need. I'm not putting a belt on because I'm too lazy to right now. Not lazy, I just don't want to. Maybe afterwards I'll jump in our pool. Now the tar does not have to lay flat. Just be careful when it's first opened. Because you might have an issue of it leaking. Now I know I already used it. Um, you know what, let me go get some. I hope that doesn't drop. What you can do is grab a brick. Yeah, just grab one. These are light enough. I'll carry a heavy one right now. Grab a light enough brick. Take a brick. Lift up one side of it. And put your brick underneath it. That should level it out level enough. Let me grab the roofing. Um so where you wanna the compressor's right there. Just pull your where you wanna spread tar. It's along the edge here. And there's already nails in there. So spread tar on the edge of this and along the edge. And get this. I might even just jump in the pool now. I might make matters worse. Alright. Yeah, it's really flimsy once it heats up. Ooh, that's hot. Now you can roll this out however you want. Gonna roll it out here. Um, just unroll it. Just so you have an educated guess of where it's gonna go, where it's gonna stop. This is 15 feet. And that will be where you're gonna want to let out as much as you can here there you go that's pretty level now we're going to spread the tar and then we'll lay this down underneath it's the tar let's open it up here now save the lid you can set the brush on the lid and then you won't have a tar on the roof Yeah, we did this in the 10th month, 1022 we started this project of 2019, of course. Now, should we, yeah, that's all ready. What you wanna do is the sad part, uh, take it. This is the satisfying part, sad, satisfying. I nice have it's too full, you're tilting it like that, you're just asking for a mess. But just spread it on there. Just keep spreading it out. Don't worry about overlapping. So all you're doing is sealing this. All this is doing sealing. Put on crap your shoes they don't care about, crap your pants, all that. Just 
try not to get it on the rental equipment. <laughs> Bring it back all turd up. Get it all the way on the edge, the best you can. Now move the bucket as you move. It's very stressful being on the edge. The first one is always the hardest one. The first layer, because you gotta be right on the edge, of course. And now you got this tree here. My mom does not want me to trim, so. So I'm gonna just do this one handed, probably don't. I got tar on my shoe now. Tree. Yeah, when blow the tree away. There we go. And that's all you really do. Otherwise, I would show you, but takes a longer time to do the um, other adhesive but there's something that's not you have the liquid that I'm using now you also have the non-liquid The other non-liquid stuff is a lot thicker. Don't worry about making a mess. Leave a little bit of overhang right here. And that's really all you do for that process. On this, like I said, put your brush on that. Put your tar here. Don't need to keep closing it now. This is the other part. You're gonna to wanna to take this. You're gonna to wanna to put it over the tar. Now, I'm gonna try to get this leaf off. All right. Oh. I know people that I rented this equipment from pretty well, so. Yeah, I'd have an issue if I got a little tar on it, but You want to get that as close to the edge as you can Get this tree out of here Make sure you don't have a tree branch on it here And you just keep pushing it down a little at a time Oh Now as soon as you get down, you want to apply pressure while the sealant is. Ah, that's nice and warm, so that should achieve pretty well. Um, I would not be kneeling on this, but I'm doing it because I don't have long arms. I said, don't worry about overhang. It all will help later. Now, that's where it should be. You want to take your nail gun. Should still be nails in it. Yeah, there's a couple left. Aim it away from you. Don't aim it at you. A little pressure into it. And now it's basically ready. Nail guns all have safety on them. All right, first thing you want to do is just push shit down, and that's all you want to do. You just want to go along it, 
and do this. Third compressor will kick on. All right. Just carry that along with you. Find your last nail. You just want to keep going. Now on the ends, you don't want to put them down over there because that's going to be the end. But on these ends where you're going to have an overlap, no problem going over it. I just put two in there. And that, that, that's fine to put a couple in there. But there's one piece down. Now, make sure your nail gun does not fall. I'm probably going to put more dart underneath that. So where the seam is here, you want the most tar. All right. Now we're gonna go down and make an R cut. And that should be pretty good. What I'll do for a little bit is I'll put these bricks on it. As you see, it didn't really stick here. A couple of bricks and put them on there. So I didn't take these down. All right. All right. Put the bricks on there. Hold that down. We're gonna go and cut. I think I'm 18. An 18 should be good enough. Um, think, yeah, an 18 should be good. All right, I'll catch you guys back when I. Got another piece. Be right back. All right, guys. Right here is going to be the time lapse, and I'm going to get to work. I got to get this done. I got the rest of today and a little bit tomorrow before I have to return the rental equipment. So hopefully, you guys enjoy the time lapse. So I'm going to set you up right on a tripod right behind me here and show you guys, well, I don't really know to show you guys how to remove these middle pieces, but we're going to do that. Don't drop your hammer off. The roof is nice and hot. I just took a break. You guys won't see that break, but so when I did put this roof on, I knew I would have to take all this up a little bit here. Nope, it's not going to break up too much here. Yeah, so see these are shingles that I use. And so, I'm going to have to remove them, at least this one. Never mind, it's going to be further back than I thought. So, shoot. All the way back to here now. I'm going to have to remove all this. Because we're going to have to remove these.
Now this is where if you had some for nails would be nice. I don't. I just want to get these shingles up and out of here. So, and what I'm gonna have to put all these, um, cover up all these holes. These shingles will be covering them. So if I put new nails here, should hold on to it. Yeah, that stuck is how we're going to want all these to stick. Now these... get these old ones off. That's what I'm going to do all the way down. I'm going to take all these out. So I'm going to set you guys up on a time lapse. So I do this. All I'm doing is pulling them up because I got to get all these old ones off. It really should not take me that long, but I'll see you guys in the time lapse. As you guys just saw there, but most of which kept off, I'm gonna start laying more roller things. See so you guys up on time lapse, and hopefully, you enjoy. What's up guys, it's the next day here. I worked in tonight last night, I cannot really record because my camera kept overheating. Um, right now I'm gonna get into, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a ridge cap. I got most of the roof laid and tarred and everything set. I'm just working on the last little bit of the ridge cap, but I'm gonna show you guys how to make your homemade ridge caps. So you don't need to buy those ridge caps from the hardware store if you don't want to. If you want to save some money, I suggest doing this way. It's actually pretty simple, it's pretty cheap doesn't have to be perfect I'll show you right now what you want to do I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod here is we have shingles here now them perfect I'm gonna try to find this hole here I just swap the other side of the blades so this is a newer blade here I'm just gonna open up your tar your own um, shingles And 
just trying to get this done today. It's been a couple days now. Just open up your shingles here. It'll be perfect. I'm gonna put some gloves on over here. Yeah, everything's dirty. I was working into the night last night. It's actually the next day. I'm gonna grab the gloves because safety's number one priority. <laughs> Alright, and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your shingle, it's not that hard. And you're gonna flip it up and up. You always wanna cut upside down. And you're gonna take your shingle, and all you're gonna do is just go in the middle of that line there. Doesn't have to be straight, doesn't have to be perfect. And these three right here, these are your rip cap. These pieces right here. And I'll just put a whole bunch of these real quick. I'll set you guys up on a time lapse and cut these. And I'll be right back as soon as we get all these cut. Alright guys, so I'm up here on the roof now. As you can see, all the roofing is laid. There's a couple bricks holding all this on. It's laid to the ends of there. We just need to get this ridge cap laid in the middle. I already started. You get a ridge cap looking like this. Right up here. I'm going to show you how real quick. This ridge cap is um, good enough to match. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then all these bricks will get lifted up and off of here. Just on there through the night to hold it down because it did get cold last night. First thing we're going to do is start laying down the ridge cap. I'm going to show you guys how I do that right now. So normally on this kind of roof, now that it's a little wet, it's a little bit slippery. So just be aware, be careful. And dad's going to be coming out here. And we're going to finish laying some ridge cap. Alright. So what we're going to do is come over here. And this leg is probably going to give out on me. We're going to set you guys right up here. And that's what you're going to want to do. We've got some much cap here. These are the shingles that I cut. I'm going to take them. Probably going to need more than a couple nails. So I have two rolls for this. Take your shingle that which you cut the piece off of. You lay it up here. And you just take two nails. That's all you do. You just keep going all the way along the whole entire roof. Okay, once you get through with that, it's pretty much done. Make sure that the black line on it gets covered by the, when they are laying down, there's going to be a black line on each one. That's going to be the tar. So that, as soon as that heats up, that will melt and keep all these together. Do you, you want to cut more? Spirits up there? What? Do you have mineral spirits over here somewhere? Back of the truck. In the back cap on the left. You got rags? There's some um, shop towels in there. Ah, Just gonna keep doing this all the way down the roof. So you reach the end. As soon as you reach the end. Um I don't make a decision on that. We just keep going with this all the way until the end. one because you'll be hitting other nails because I did not pull them out but so I keep doing all the way till the end it's not that hard it just takes a little bit of time sorry if you put a couple in there um, normally it won't hurt which might even help be aware that if you want to be more careful not use two nails up showing preference of it I didn't cut that many because I don't know how many I'm gonna need and I don't want to cut more than I need seriously you need half a, a quarter of a shingle so we're just gonna keep going like this my first line back there try keep them straight doesn't have to be perfect you won't notice it on the ground but you'll notice it when you stand and look down at it. But I'm not worried about that too much. We're going to turn you around here and let you look from this way. Hopefully the camera can stand. 
There we go. We're just gonna keep looking at it like this. As soon as you get it decently well here, and you know you can just keep going at it and going ham with it. Be careful of your fingers. That's another thing. Be careful of your, any of your body parts being near it, because I'll be honest, I've done my my glove to something before with a brad nailer, so be careful. Uh, I don't think I'll need that many more, maybe the same amount. See, I don't count how many I do. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. Air compressor will keep kicking on. Just doing it yesterday. will give you a pretty pretty good looking result. I'll show you afterwards. And no, I'm not out of nails. Why did that not go? Careful not to go too far over because if you go too far over like that happens right there, I'm not too worried about it. All the adhesion helps. And as soon as you get decent way down, you'll get used to it, you'll get the hang of it, and you'll be flying just like this. And that's really all you need to lay a ridge cap. It's looking pretty good. And then, yeah, you can go out to hardware stores and they can they'll sell a ridge cap. But, but the way I do this, me down, pretty good result. This is just more nails I have. But there's ridge cap all the way down. I got a little squirmy down there. I'll show you. See, I was doing it at night, so you can't see as well. I'll be getting all the bricks off here in a little bit. Um, but see, if you're doing this at night, you can't really see that well. Got a little squirmy right there. But it's no big deal. You won't recognize that because there's a tree there and you'll only see it from that side. Um, yeah, but we're pretty much almost done. I just got to cut a few more. And as soon as you cut that few more, you should be pretty much done. I just got to get by that vent. And bridge cap. I mean, for a shit, a little bit of shingles. Lay it down there. You gotta get tar around the vents. Bricks, bricks will come down in a minute. And this job here is pretty much done. That's really all you need to do. The real roofing. Um, I should have enough clips. I think I put. I'm trying not to make this too long of a video, so right now I'm going to go down there, cut some more. i got to get all those bricks off the roof from the tarp. I'm probably going to take a... Oh. Uh, there's a tarp down there, so don't worry. Um, I'll probably take a rope around the bricks and just lower them. But you could sweep this off if you really want to. I just need to make sure that all my sealant has a brick on it where it's popping up so that it um wherever it's popping up in the corners or anywhere just put a brick on it for a day the sun will heat up it'll hold it down and that's really all you need to do i think the bottom ones down there should be good over there um i can remove those i'll move them over i use these smaller ones these patio blocks they're a lot simpler to handle around than a cinder block so I got some nails here's the after result of it um, I don't think I'm gonna go over this bottom strip because this roof here is not leaking it just has a bad spot right over there I don't know I used the zoom feature but right over there has a bad spot I'm not worried about it um, got two more there 
see it's drying up from this morning it is currently i left my watch at in the house of course but i got my phone here it's currently 7 30 and i'm out here up here doing it because as soon as that comes out that sun who it gets hot up here i was out here pretty much all day yesterday and i think i got a good tan but i got it pretty much done i'll show you from the ground once i get that ridge cap done catch you guys when i'm done with that ridge cap Just like that it's done i just have to cut for the end piece what you want to do is you just want to cut a shingle this is going to be one piece of shingle you're going to have to cut another shingle i'll have two extra you'll just cut it at this line like right after it then you use some adhesive um i'm going to use some tar i got some down in our barn and in the house i'll use some tar put that piece over it stick it down and that's all you need to do for that it should hold it should stay good and it'll look just like an end so right now these two didn't really just want to get all the way to the end to hold it like here it's peeling up I'm gonna just move it over. hold it down like that this is what i mean you'll just need to put a brick on it for a little bit while that sun shines on it and heats it up and it should hold it um if it doesn't i don't know why it's not singing you'll just have more tar but other than that it should all be done now i just need to get all the bricks up tools off nails all that and we should be done i just gotta clean up that only took me what a day i would say that took me a day i had to take a break yesterday and cool off but other than that Done. Don't set your tools in water. So set this here. Um, I'm gonna get all the bricks off, and then I'll show you guys some shots from the ground if I can get them. What is up, guys? Welcome back to our. This is gonna be the ending of the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy. Make a subscribe, a like, and comment down below if you enjoyed. And yeah, I know I did not get any after shots. I finished it. Um, I return all the equipment. Make sure you put all your equipment back, even if it's rental, borrowing it from a friend. Make sure to put it in a storage, even if it's just in your house. I returned the equipment I rented, and I put my tools away. And, yeah, if you guys want to see more of these videos of me renovating this house, let me know down below in the comments, because I'm free to do that. And until next one, guys, hopefully you enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.